Okay, so on the left-hand side, we have a tonality reference score that sounds like this. And on the right-hand side, we have a composition using that score, which sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing and Evolving Spaces, Episode 12, Chapters, Aspecting, Packing, Directing, Relating. In this episode, we re-entered and reflected. We liked using our key step MIDI controller to generate material for the new scale that we just showed you. And it also generates things in a consistent monotonic rising canonical order. Uh, we also have started some new naming systems. For example, this is a new naming system for new scales. We started the 20 series. Um, we made some a dance show recording, which we're going to talk about. We had some key learnings about YouTube. And our exposition closes in two days, the exposition that we've been sharing with you for, for weeks now, this 3D uh, composing in 3D exhibit. So that's closing in two days. And finally, we have a trip coming up, which is much on our mind, which is giving us cross signals into our creative processes. So results. Um, from previous work, we briefly reviewed compositions from previous composing series. We sorted out our stream log labeling, which you're looking at right here is a stream log. And it turns out this is our 12th series. Our series called Composing and Involving Spaces is our 12th series in something like three plus years. In new work, we began further working with uh, a flat one two two one four four six, but we needed to give it a name, so we've relabeled it to be custom scale twenty one A flat one two two one four four six. So this is the twenty series that we talked about. In doing that, we reviewed briefly the idea of how funneling down works. The human hearing range is twenty to twenty kilohertz, um, and there are in any one octave, something like on the order of a hundred notes that we can hear the difference of marching up between, you know, C and C octave. And a hundred notes gives you in the order of 10,000 two note chords and a, over a hundred thousand three note chords. So that's way too many to try to compose with off the bat. Um, unless you do kind of like continuous woo, like theremins and things, which people do do. So the Western tempered scale has 12 tones that are picked out in that octave instead of 100. Well, even 12 tones give you 66 two note chords and 220 three note chords, which is still an awful lot to try to work with, although we have. So if you say, well, I tell you what, we'll use the Do, Re, Mi scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, minor, major. Now we only have 10 out of 12 notes, which knocks it down to 45 triads and still 120 uh, dyads, 120 triads. What we're working with, which we call custom scale 21, is using six notes, which gives 15 dyads and 20 triads. And then we knocked it down even further based on a blah, blah, blah so that we were picking five dyads and eight triads. This is a typical sequence we feel in composing is you start from this huge beyond working with, it's not infinite, but it's on the order of hundreds and millions. And, and well, actually when we plugged in bigger, it wouldn't let us calculate, the spreadsheet wouldn't let us calculate beyond about 200-ish, 170, separate notes. It, it blew up. The formula just blows up. So it's one of those things that turns into the number of atoms and the beyond the number of elementary particles in the universe, blah, 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 blah. One of those things. Anyway, so we reviewed funneling down, funneling down. Uh, so then we did make a custom scale series, and it's kind of cool how it sounds. Let's just put it in the middle here. So our traditional way of doing this is we play the full six note scale and then we play the minor and the major versions. So listen for the differences between these three versions. Mm -hmm. 
So it's just enough for us to hear a difference. This is the, it's a pretty scale. It's kind of light and airy. It's like a meringue or something. Now this is the uh, minor version of it. And here's the major version of it. Hard to hear, but let's play it one by one. There's only, uh, you know, there's two different notes. This versus this. And then this versus this. So it's just enough to hear a difference. And the beauty of that is it lets you switch modes if you so wish as a composer. So anyway, we did that. But as we said, we didn't want to work with 15 dyads and 20 triads. That was still kind of an awful lot, at least on first pass. So then we are making this thing we're calling packing, and we're just going to play it for you. But basically it's using those triads and dyads, and, and we're putting them in different orders based on reasons. So let's listen to this. And what we like about it so far is uh, there's this one place that just makes us grin. It's so uh, chintzy. I mean, really, come on. And we didn't deliberately make it do that. It's just that we're using um, a violin slash cello chorus and uh, MuseScore has thrown in that but the, the interval does encourage it to do that so that, that's kind of catching our emotional ear anyway um, the last thing we'll comment on before we end the episode is that we did stream and record a dance show from one of our favorite troops and the interesting thing that we ran into, so we're going to, we have to turn the sound off because it is not allowed to hear this sound because it's a copyrighted song. And it's one of those songs that YouTube doesn't, well, that the owner doesn't let be used, period. So we're just going to play the visual that goes with it. And we want to, this is an art gallery, and we want you to watch what happens to the pictures on the wall. Okay, we're going to stop it there, but what we want to point out is these are at human avatars, and the whole set, this is a stage set. If we could pull back from it, this is a stage set like here. It's as if we were focusing on the stage set here, which we did for the video purposes and turn off the interface and all that. But if we had 
allowed ourselves to pull back, you would see that there was an audience down here and there was a curtain and it was a whole stage in front of there. So this is a stage set with a 3D appearance. But what's so many, many things we like about it. Number one, having the avatars hovering back here totally static. So they just look like more pictures. Number two, those, if you notice, the, the fronts of the frames dropped off like little gray squares. Oh my God, I just, I, it's, it's so effective. Somewhere, yeah, right there. See those little gray uh, covers are dropping off. And then they jump down and dance around. And finally, this silver sculpture turns into a, a sixth silver dancer. And it's, uh, it's being played to a tune by Regina Spector uh, called All the Rowboats. It's a really cool song. Really, really cool. But it just turns out it's not allowed. And here we'll show you. This is, what, this is how, if you ever uh, post something on YouTube, this is what it looks like when a song is allowed to be used. It says no impact. Okay. So like it says on behalf of Pagan Records, blah, 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 blah. But here, this cannot be monetized, period, in any and all territory. Sometimes they're blocked in. See, this one, this one we would love to show. I mean, we almost feel tempted to send WMG, whoever that is, a... Uh, email if we could find a contact and say hey what do you think about letting that one through anyway so it turns out six of these songs are, are blocked so you the only way you can share this is you, we can show it because it's our content and plus being we're not going to get a strike because we're not letting the music through the visual dance is not blocked it's it's the music that goes with it so anyway long story short we learned a lot the second thing we learned about um, youtube is This highlight that we're making right now, we're directly recording to disk and we're streaming it to YouTube. However, if we tried to download this highlight from YouTube, we would lose quality. We're stream recording at 1440, 2560 by 1440, but you can only download 1920 by 1080. We learned that. So um, Anyway, it just informs what we're going to do down the road. So we learned a bit about copyright, and we learned a bit about um, uh, trying to use YouTube as your 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 handy dandy recorder. Sure, it'll record, but if you're taking the time and trouble to upload high quality, you can't download it, even on YouTube Premium. We already we already checked that out. On YouTube Premium, you could download 1920 by 1080, but Without premium, you can only download 720 by whatever it is. So, our ideas for next time are a bunch of continue doing what we're doing and to be determined. Um, at the moment, traveling is most on our mind. Shout outs to Methodic Innovator, Later Viewer, Silent Lurker, and Steady Worker. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.